So while we're waiting for play to resume, um, I'm going to put it, the question again to Fuad, who very <laughs> cleverly, you know, slipped out the bar, as we say in Jamaica. <laughs> let's <laughs> Slipped out the bar without buying a drink. But come on, <laughs> let's talk about it. Slot, turn oh. you man down. Or some people are trying to say it was the club that forced him to stay. But the upshot is that you're still looking for a manager. So what's going on, man? Why doesn't no one want to manage Tottenham? <laughs> Have you not seen the state of this club? I mean, come on. No, but you're yeah. a big club. Who, who? That's what you guys keep telling us. I mean, come on. Like, if you're going to bite the bait that fans give you, <laughs> come on. Then, then I can't I'm help sure you, you've Laurie. uttered those sentences in uh, as well. For me, I don't know. I think the slot situation is a funny one. I, I personally... Did you want him? Not really. I feel like at final, he needed a lot of pieces to make his football over there click. And I don't really trust this board to give him all of that. And then is Arna Slot the kind of manager who, I don't know, six months before people would have said, yeah, he'd be the next for the Tottenham job. So my thing is, is, is he maybe just the flavor of the season because he's won so the Anthony's title at final? Up. So Which for me, I don't want to I don't want to be kind of a prisoner of the moment and just buy into the manager that's kind of won the title, if you like. Um, yeah. For me, I think... Um, this isn't good for Anthony at all, Ooh, by the way. Yeah, it's looking like a... Stretcher on the pitch as yeah, well. Yeah, it could be a bad one. It could be ankle ligaments, it's looking like, potentially. Yeah, I you do can tell the minute he raises his hand, he's immediately... Like, he looks distraught on the floor there as well. I'm not yeah. a, a Rashford... Rashford problem. warming up, which could be another weapon oh. United have on the bench. It's gone natural there as well, but he's Rashford, it seems like, is the one being brought That's on. That's probably Anthony out of the FA Cup final. Junior third, is it? Since the World Cup, by the way, Rashford's just been lights out he's been so so good like and it's been it's been good to see him back at his best yeah um although he has tailed off a little bit yeah he over has. the last couple of weeks he has. but just back to um to spurs um yeah i think the managerial situation i came here when we first sacked conte i said this is exactly what's going to happen the same situation where we ended up with nuno is what's mm. going to happen this summer we're going to go for a managerial 20-man candidacy process of finding the right profile but never really specifying what the profile is we essentially want to do pochettino 2.0 mm -hmm. because we've gone the big wigs money guys mm -hmm. way and it hasn't worked out with conte or jose mm -hmm. if you want interesting go, comments by jose today yeah, i'm, I'm, sure you heard I'm not surprised it right you heard them right yeah i heard them where he's saying spurs is the only club that he doesn't have any emotion for because we the Levy Club, he calls it as well. He doesn't even call us yeah, Tottenham. Yeah. And I'm like, because that's how he sees it. He's like, this man denied me the opportunity to play in a final. Right? That was a strange one, that. Well, it was, what was a strange your interpretation? one. It's a, it's a strange one, but I've gone back and forth on that one so many times yeah. I said, like... It, was he worried that Pochettino... Sorry, that Mourinho yep. was going to win that game, then you would have had to um, keep him on for a lot longer than well, you Well, yeah, you, you, it's... You, essentially, it's a success for Jose. He mm. came to the club that hasn't doesn't win trophies yeah. and he's won for them. So he would have felt mm. vindicated had you yeah. sacked him or not, basically. And at that point, things were getting so bad and toxic. He, he would have left at that cup and said, ah, douches, you lot can have your ugly football and your overhaul. But Anthony's now coming you look off. at it, Anthony's confirmed injured, being stretched off there. So Rashford will be coming on. But with Spurs, there needs an overhaul in the squad. There's still no director of football. Uh, Harry Kane could potentially be leaving this summer. Like, no, there he's is, gone. Oh, there he's is, gone. there is nothing appealing to any manager out there in my eyes. Like, there's talks of mm. potentially Brendan Rodgers, and I know some Spurs fans are kind of sniping their nose at it. I've said all along when we sacked Conte, I said he's one of the people we're going to have to realistically at some point consider. No, but he's a good manager. He's a good coach, in my yeah. opinion. I said yeah. what he did at Leicester, what he did at Liverpool, what he did at Celtic. I've seen a coach who's built a culture, built a standard, and mm. he's always trying to push. Whether those boards have backed him or not and believed in his vision, that's another thing. I felt like Leicester this season let him down. Yeah, they only yeah. gave him Woot Feist and Leicester, after just Leicester back to seasons of pushing. Mm. I don't want to digress be... from Tottenham onto Leicester just like yeah. that, but Leicester to me are that classic case that if you do not, if you do not address things, hot. you stagnate and go backwards. But the yeah. interesting one with Leicester was it was COVID that stopped Leicester. Their owners lost about a hundred Well, let's be honest, their something. owner passed away with the yeah. helicopter incident right. and the sun took over and it really hasn't yeah. been the same, the recruitment change and everything. And Spurs are going to have to go through that kind of similar process. Yeah. Our director of football's just left, our recruitment style's going to have to change. The so it befits the question here. Yeah. Yeah. We spoke about Leicester and compared them to Spurs. Leicester could well be going down this mm -hmm. season. In fact, I think they will. I'd be sad if they went down. I'll be could honest. Spurs, I'm not going to say again they're going to go down, but I mean, you've got no manager. Kane looks like he's going. There's even oh, talk on. that Son might go. Um, 
I listen, said I reached I've, out to I've, Toby today and I said, listen, man, you could struggle next season, man. Mate, I've said to every Spurs fan, every platform I've been on, I said, once Harry Kane leaves this summer, Harry Kane has been the one thing for me and Sun Human, if you like, a bar this season, were the two things that kind of, even though we were awful at the back, we could paper mm. over the cracks with just enough goals from those two to keep us going, regardless of what system we played. We knew on the counter-attack we've got yeah. those two. They'll give us 20 and 20 and that will just get us over, whether it's Europa, whether it's mm. Champions League, whatever it is. Son is now on his last leg. He's shown us this season. He's pretty oh. much on a decline. Once Harry Kane leaves, that's your creativity, your goals, mm. because let's not forget, he's missed the drop deep and spray all the passes as well. Yeah. So it's going to be a massive loss. And I've said, we're going to go to the abyss. And what that means is, for me, I think best case scenario, it's like Arsenal, where you guys finished eighth, ninth. Mm. Worst case scenario, where, where, what Chelsea were doing Chelsea this year, basically, with two. your pants down and all <laughs> season, where you're kind of talking about, hey, we passed the 40-point mark. Yeah. That's what I'm going to be talking about next season is 40-point mark. So That's you're saying it could oh, get oh, worse before it oh, gets oh, better. Oh, what? it's oh, not it could, it will. it will. I promise you that. That is one guarantee. Every situation like this, when you need a reset, Mm. at a club when you need a reset of oh, culture God. things always get worse oh, before God. they get better nice. and, I, and I'm ready for it to be fair like yeah. if this club does actually want to progress I've said the next appointment could be one of the most important mm. moving mm. forward in the club's history because we as you said Chelsea, we're too. sliding potentially the other way the problem with these other top six clubs they always have the finances to push themselves back to that kind of mm. above water mm. position Chelsea know they can have this type of year because they've stockpiled so much quality talent yeah. It will come good eventually. We just need to get the right manager. Spurs can't be fortunate enough to be in that situation. When we lose Kane, we're hoping that we don't do the Gareth Bale situation all over again and sign seven bozos, basically, who turn out to be seven lemons. <laughs> do you yeah. know what I mean? So it, it's going to be a massive overhaul and it's going to be oh, a, this is a reset. He's got oh the overlap. Mm. Wrong and he decision. chose the wrong well, option, wrong Trevor option. Chalabar. I mean, that good was poor. Trev, Introducing Fan Zone. My friend Elliot from Canada. We are still. We are top of the league. 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 Allows any fan anywhere you are on the planet to broadcast live into our shows at the push of a button via our website or app. Well, I'm tired of hearing about the Europa League like it's silverware. So is the League Cup. So is the Dubai Cup. So is the Community Shield. Ah, uh, Michael, and come I, on. They're not the same level. No, I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Cecil. <laughs> My guy. Fan Zone on AFTV+. You can download it on iOS or the Play Store and have your say.